In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top five off meta decks right now in Clash Royale. Normally, we take a look at the best decks in the meta, but it's stale. I'm sick of it right now, guys. So we're going to take a look at some of the off meta decks that actually crush a lot of the meta decks you see every other game, guys. We're going to get into it today. If you're really excited or you want to support me, definitely make sure to chuck in code Diddy and subscribe for more if you are new. Getting straight into deck number one, though, boys. Check it out. Is it off meta? Goblin Joe deck here with a rocket with a knight with the uh, bomber deck in here. The best thing I can compare this to is kind of like playing Ice Bow, except you have the Goblin Joe, the bomber bomber and a little bit of a faster cycle guys the 3.0 cycle it makes this deck so much fun to play let's get straight into it though game number one battle number one hopefully you guys are all doing well today let's get it going and let's see what's going on guys so we'll queue up here hopefully i mean we couldn't find a tournament with a ton of people in it a lot of people ask me this and obviously i would love to play ladder but a lot of you guys are asking i cannot do it guys because i do not have kind of level cards all right we find a match instantly black dynamite good luck dude let's see what he's got in store so i am by no means a drill player we're gonna try our best with this one and the best way you want to play it is really, really aggressive, obviously. You have 3.0 average elixir cost. The rockets can go down. Obviously, you can defend most things. But Lava Hound can certainly be a little bit of a tricky matchup here. So the goblins are actually going to do a lot of damage right now. Um, and the uh, royal recruits come down. Interesting. We've done not nearly the same. Oh, shoot. Wait. Bruh. Bruh. This tournament's got level 13 stuff. This sucks. Now we're going to have to find a new tournament, dude. We are at a massive disadvantage right now. We have found a match against Legend. This time we have actually fair level cards. Thank goodness, dude. Thank goodness. Let's go. All right, we're going to go ahead and actually Goblin Drill first play. It's a pretty aggressive play. It forces out a play from the opponents, and we might be looking at an Expo matchup, which would be really interesting. I believe we do have matchup here. Because we have the Rocket, that might be a really good way of dealing with this Expo. But for now, let's go ahead and just go for a Knight. We'll see what this guy's got in store, of course. Let's go ahead and Bomber here. Bomber's going to be really solid. We probably should have placed it one more tile to the right so it would help with a enemy knight. But this is honestly okay. I'm completely fine with this. He's going to go for a really, really aggressive X spell. And honestly, I don't even think we needed the Fire Spirit here. But it'll make sure we actually have a flawless defense there. So nice stuff there. Well played. Thank you very much, Legend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's keep it going, dude. He's not happy about this matchup. Realizing we have Rocket is obviously pretty detrimental to him. But let's see what we can do, guys. We're going to go ahead and deploy our Goblin Drill such that it should hit the Archers and actually do some damage here. Look at the Goblin Drill, boys. It's going to do a little bit of damage. Is it worth it? I don't actually think so. I'm not going to lie. But the Archers will go down. So, I mean, we're using it as a little bit tactically there. That's how we're using it, guys. So, let's go ahead and go for that. Let's go ahead and go for some Skeletons. And then we can obviously Bomber this. And I think the Bomber's going to splash onto the Expo. No, no, it's not. That is not going to do anything of what i wanted expo you gotta love it all right no we're, we're fine i think a big connection there is obviously expected but we do have the same cycle as this guy so we can literally just rocket his expos from now on i wanted to get fancy with it i wanted to defend it with a tesla but it was not possible it just was not possible there so let's go ahead he just went with archers so i think we can go ahead and go with a goblin drill and a pretty aggressive bomber i don't know about that bomber play guys We'll see how it does. We'll see how it does. The bomber's going to target the knight, which will actually splash onto the tower. That's a bit of damage, dude. That is actually a great bit of damage. And if we see an expo here, we just rock it all day. Let's go ahead and fire spirit. Let's go ahead and go for a really high Tesla because this will actually take out the knight really nicely. Let's go ahead and get a rocket down. We're going to go ahead and go for it. Obviously, we're going to cycle. So we want the goblin drill to get down, but he's going to try and rocket cycles, which is honestly well played. But we're going to go ahead and get all of this stuff tagged up and then we can go for a knight right here the reason why i'm actually feeling pretty confident going into this is because all we need to do is go for a goblin drill and then rocket on top of it and i don't think there's too much he can do guys he's gonna go for the knight he's gonna do stuff like that and we can go ahead and rocket that um but he's probably gonna also go for the um archers so we'll try and tornado those away we do nato the skeletons off that is gonna be a lot of damage dude and that actually provides a bunch of great value there for us that is what we like to see let's go ahead and tesla here all we have to do now is go for another goblin drill one more rocket and hopefully call it a day it's gonna be really good for us because if we can take his tower down somehow then we're gonna be sitting real pretty does the goblin get a shot off it does we're gonna go ahead and say thanks he rockets we rocket whose rocket's gonna get down in time one we do both get it he doesn't even get it oh shoot what an awesome match good game dude thank you very much for playing but we absolutely crush expo and we actually did come back there that was an excellent match dude good game thank you very much for playing legend so like we said guys that was an extremely fast cycle deck we had a big misplay there but use that and learn from it guys do not do what i did don't be aggressive with it in tesla against an expo you want to actually just rocket it every time and then wait it out and then you'll easily be able to get a ton of guaranteed damage with the goblin drill and rocket combination make sure the timing's right obviously and make sure to rocket 
bucket so it covers the goblin drill because there's literally nothing he could do if he gets guaranteed damage if the timing is correctly at least a couple hundred so it's very solid there if you were worried about using the rocket on the tower and instead of the expo obviously you can definitely just distract with the knight and with a couple teslas spammed at the bridge it can work in double and triple elixir but in one times you really shouldn't be using the tesla to kill that axe ball so you'll live you'll learn it's a very strong deck and we're gonna move on to deck number two deck number two today is a hog rider valkyrie rocket deck this one we're taking to ladder we're gonna have some fun with this one guys so hopefully we can get a win obviously but this one i've been actually crushing with on ladder it's extremely off meta you don't see decks like this very often and with the rocket in here it's actually a very versatile deck because you can obviously rocket cycle if you need to you can go ahead and rocket on defense there's a lot of options in this deck which make it super enjoyable to play now we're going against the elixir going here and that is obviously a very solid matchup assuming things don't go crazy a wire here we're gonna be careful here but um we have the tesla we have the valkyrie we have the rocket we have all sorts of answers that we need so this could be looking pretty solid let's go ahead and just tesla really bad tesla placement but i think it might work out anyways we'll go ahead and prince us here the elixir golem will actually get distracted which is big the inferno dragon is on top of our stuff but since the valkyrie is taking out this knight which is bats guys the princess will be able to take out that elixir golem all that dies the arrows do come out and that's a super valued set of arrow uh valuable set of arrows there but i'm, I'm feeling all right here but we'll go ahead and pog rider is zero because actually i don't think he's gonna have a ton of elixir to do work with here the battle healer is forced out which is actually really big if he goes with an elixir going and we can, we can just rock it and log guys so this is a hyper hyper awesome matchup that you do love to see so we'll go ahead and rock it we'll go ahead and log um but yeah easy stuff let's go ahead into skeletons obviously he doesn't have arrows back in cycle yet so these skeletons are going to provide so much value to us guys and we can go ahead and go with a princess at the bridge force out a bunch more elixir from him the princess he's going to have to deal with maybe with an inferno dragon no we do see an electro dragon but this hog is now going in oh, i'm gonna see another dragon no he's gonna let the tower go that is how you know he's feeling big sad panda moments because we actually take an entire tower there and we're feeling all right here let's go ahead and just valkyrie this let's go ahead and get some skeletons down we'll make sure this night which dies we are literally spawn killing this night which before she even crosses the bridge and we have plenty of elixir to do so with so let's go ahead and just tesla we can set up for our next elixir golem defense in this deck we are sitting pretty right now you can see he's actually using a fairly meta deck with the elixir golem but we're shutting it down completely right now with this deck and this deck actually counters golem this deck shuts down electro giant it's a very underrated deck that we've actually made ourselves so i'm really proud of it if you guys are going to use this deck like i said subscribe leave a like hope you guys keep enjoying the videos let's keep uh, let's go ahead and log that down and as you can see i mean this thing's over guys literally nothing he's gonna be able to do here in order to uh get any tower damage so yeah, i'm feeling great about this we're gonna push up here i don't want to be boring i don't want to be stale we'll go ahead and try and get a little bit more tower damage to make it interesting the princess does come down we're probably gonna see something in front of this hog rider here but is it gonna be enough though i don't think so guys let's go ahead and just tesla we'll get stuff ready to go for the defense but is it gonna be enough uh, like i said i really don't think so so let's go ahead and go for the rocket um the electro dragon is going to be a bit annoying but i mean if we wanted to perfectly defend this we could have we could have dude so the tesla comes down we will shut everything down and with 18 seconds left i really i really don't think there's anything you can do guys let's go ahead and just hog rider and rocket do the hog rider and rocket combo well skeletons over here to pull everything back and then we'll also go for some electro spirit action but i mean if he takes this tower we can just pretty much rocket his other tower it's looking good for us dude awesome match there against the elixir golem you do love to see that so deck number two game number two it's a banger dude elixir golem going down plus 29 for me deck number three today is actually a different version of this now it's once again the hog rider and uh valkyrie deck but this deck is so strong that i need to show you guys another variation this one has the dark goblin in here instead of the princess because the dark goblin is great for chipping down things and then pushing the opposite lane and obviously bridge spamming the snowball also can be huge on defense and this is obviously a little bit more free to play friendly if you have a lot of these cards a little bit lower level i would stick with this deck and then level it up it's going to be a very strong deck it's one of those decks that really is not going to get affected too much by the meta because it has its counters and it'll stay like that i can't see them doing anything to hog rider and the snowball and dark goblin are all in a pretty good spot so we'll keep it going though dark goblin first play we'll get some almost nearly some good shots off there but let's go ahead and skeletons this because yeah the hog rider we got to expect that the hog rider does actually come down and we'll be able to flawlessly defend that with our hidden tesla so not a bad start to this match we'll see what he's got going on obviously the um hog rider goes down there let's go ahead and get ready to hog rider our own bridge and see what this guy's got in store let's go hog what do you got for us here let's go ahead and electro spirit his ice spirit we're gonna actually maybe get a connection yeah no ice electro spirit will get a value on that hidden tesla taking it down and we'll go ahead with another dark goblin here probably gonna get something down for that but no he does not we're gonna get 200 damage exactly with that 
And we're gonna go ahead and cycle because once again, you gotta expect the hog rider here when you're going against hog 2.6. The ice golem comes down. We're gonna go ahead and rocket that dude all day. Easy value here. The quake comes out on nothing. That is actually hilarious that he just did that. We're gonna go ahead and hog rider is zero. I don't know if he's gonna have enough elixir for this. He probably will actually. I think that was a bad hog rider. The reason why he had him uh, just the same amount of elixir as us is because I didn't realize. I mean, we rocketed. That's a lot of elixir. He spent a bunch too, but. Well, we defended, he didn't do anything with that Quake, so I think maybe we're one Elixir ahead, two Elixir ahead, one or two, nothing crazy, obviously. Let's just get ready to go with that. So, let's get ready to go with an Electro Speed in the back. Let's go ahead and one you, uh, go with the Dark Goblin here. Dark Goblin will sprint up, will get shots off, it will, dude, he's not fast enough! The Goblin's going crazy, that's 400 damage to his tower. That is honestly incredible, and we go ahead and actually get the Valkyrie down so he cannot quake this, obviously, because that would be too late. The Valkyrie takes down the Hog Rider, and the Hidden Tesla is down on the opponent's side. So, can we take this Hidden Tesla down somehow, some way? That would be good, because then we could Hog Rider, but at this point in the match, I mean, if we know he's playing some sort of 2.6 deck, or at least he's got that Hog Quake, we can literally cycle him with our Rocket at the end. So, that's just knowing your opponent's matchups, knowing what's got to be coming, and we're going to go ahead and get ready to Snowball this for some easy tower damage, and we can go ahead and obviously Rocket this. Let's go ahead and just Rocket, and and then we'll go with a um, Hog Rider of our own. We can go ahead and hog Dark Goblin as well. Dark Goblin will get a bunch of value here and we can Skeletons as well to maybe protect the... Okay, wow, good log on his end, guys. We are still flawlessly defending, though, so it's looking solid. It's looking promising. Let's go ahead and just Tesla this. We go with the Tesla here. We're going to go Valkyrie, and we can obviously Snowball. So the Valkyrie gets down once again in time to tank for that enemy hidden Tesla, and that's going to be really essential for us, guys. So let's go ahead and Hog Rider way out here. If that goes to the Tesla, I'll be upset. Okay, it does. Dang it, dude. The Dark Goblin will help out, though. Dark Goblin is doing work right now. We're going with all this. This is going to be potentially a shot off. Does the Electro Spear connect? It's going to look like it's going to. Let's go ahead and rocket his Hog Rider. I think we have a really substantial lead right now, so it's looking solid. We'll also go ahead and snowball that Firecracker to make sure she gets no shots off. And as you can see, I mean, even though this is a similar deck to before, we are countering. We're playing well. We're crushing this dude, and the Dark Goblin does actually get hit by that Ice Spear, which is kind of funny. But, let's go ahead and just Valkyrie this. He's gonna go for a Quake, potentially. Potentially. He's doing it. He's doing it. We gotta take this big thing down. Oh, it gets a shot. That's big shots. That's big shots. Is he going to go have to go? Okay, let's just rock it now. This is where we start cycling, guys. This is where we start cycling. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go with the Dark Goblin right here. He's going with a Hog Rider. We're gonna go ahead and Tesla. Tesla's coming down. We're gonna go ahead and Fire Spirit this. He does get hit by the Quake spell, but it doesn't matter. The Dark Goblin's firepower actually helps us wreck that Tesla. Or sorry, the Hog Rider. So the Firecracker here, potentially, no, so close. Almost gives us King Tower. Let's go ahead and get ready to go with another Rocket. We're cycling these Rockets. He's gonna go ahead and go for another Hog Rider, guys. It's looking like we're gonna need to Snowball that. We're gonna go ahead and go for a Tesla this time, and we can go ahead and Valkyrie this. It's really well played for him, waiting for that Tesla to be down, because he's now going to get a lot of extra damage because of that, so well played to you, sir. This is going to be a very close match. Not necessarily our matchup, but he's playing it extremely well as all um, as well, which is obviously going to be good, good for the opponent here. The Valkyrie does get a hit off. We're going to go ahead and obviously rock it right here on defense. We're going to go ahead and Snowball to get that constant damage. He goes in Quakes. Let's go ahead and get a Hog Rider down with a, a bit of an Electro Spirit and Dark Goblin. The Dark Goblin will help a lot here, and the Electro Spirit will kill those skeletons, guys. Can we get something going with this one? The Hog Rider dies. We're going to go ahead and cycle to yet again another Hog Rider. We're already back to this thing. He's going to potentially be back, or he goes with the Hidden Tesla there. That is going to be a big mistake because we one-shot the skeletons. There's going to be a Hog Rider coming towards our tower. He's forced to go with a log in the Elite Dark Goblin, guys. It's going to go down to the, what am I saying right now? The Dark Goblin wins it, and we're just going to take wins. We take it. Let's go. What an awesome match. A bit of an adrenaline there, and that outplay of the opponent by cycling to that other Hog Rider super quick was obviously really awesome to see and overall a really strong play to do 3.1 on average elixir cost in trail the elixir things get a little crazy up in here but you have an insanely fast cycle between the hog rider snowball skeletons and electro spirit and that prediction snowball onto those skeletons allowing our hog rider to get extra shots off was excellent dude a very fun deck in clash royale i highly recommend this one deck number four of five today guys is a giant balloon deck with the freeze with the blue arrows we've already showcased this deck in a video before it's a very strong deck and the reason why it's got to be in two videos is because this thing is seriously underrated i've been winning with this deck way more than you would think is legal. Samu, what you got in store for us? So basically
basically the way you want to play this obviously is go for the w's you want to win that's a big that's a good word of advice for most decks right guys but the big thing with this tech is you got to save your free spell like i said in the video when i first mentioned uh showcase this deck saving your free spell is a guarantee that you have a big shot at winning and you are never out yet quite yet you could be down a couple towers you could potentially win with a massive three crown push you've got to be careful with that free spell it's super powerful you want to hide its ability from your opponents for as long as possible until necessary until you know that tower is going to go down to your attack um so the balloon could be used here in the opposite lane well let's go ahead and do that if he goes with any great answers for the balloon we can obviously arrows let's go ahead and get uh, arrows down right here for the princess he goes with uh, the rocket very well played here and he's actually going to look like he's got a lot of answers to our deck guys so this is simply going to be an interesting matchup he's got log he's got arrows sorry he's got log he's got rocket he's got princess and he's got that tesla that's gonna be really interesting guys it's gonna be really interesting if he goes with the goblin barrel we're gonna go ahead and minion horde instantly gonna be a really interesting minion horde but i think it'll get the job done beautiful let's go ahead and giant right in front giants down does he not have anything to deal with this the princess is not in cycle we know that fair and well the giant's gonna be tanking and those minions are on that tower putting in absolute numbers this is where you want to bring it out guys in a opportunity like this where we know he's only got rocket and princess the minions the giant they take the entire tower down saving that free spell until opponents no don't know when it's coming that is it dude no one expects the giant balloon freeze and that is why it is in two videos decks like this we've already won he's gonna go with the princess we go ahead and just minions on top of it boom let's go win dude we're playing out of our minds today we we cannot lose that is what's going on right now we simply cannot lose he's gonna go for a goblin whale sometime soon so we go with the prediction skeletons is he gonna go for the electricity he is let's go ahead and just skeleton army into it uh, that's how confident i'm feeling dude you should never do this but we're winning with it and that is a great feeling so obviously we can build up another big push here with a giant in the back he's got plenty of answers so we're really not going to focus too much on our push we're going to more so focus on how we can halt his progression of taking our tower that's going to be the biggest way of dealing with stuff like this we can go ahead and literally just freeze these goblins it'll take them down good stuff good stuff we'll go ahead and arrows that princess we have the skeleton army here and we actually managed to hit that electro spirit which is a beautiful series of events for us he's gonna have to rocket this if he wants to defend up the minions they're coming in hot he's gonna go ahead and rocket it does he miss any he does miss one lone minion that's gonna be big for us guys because now we can go with our balloon now we can go with the skeleton army he's going for the princess and if we can get this free spell down there's just simply nothing he's gonna be able to do here let's go ahead and just freeze that is gonna be literally towered down because our balloon only needs one more shot and that is literally gonna be enough to kill with the death bomb so a 2-0 victory royale that's what we're looking at today guys we cannot lose it's been an awesome day and obviously i'm really thankful for you guys support we do have one more deck he's going with the sneaky barrel it's not gonna be enough man good game we literally dominate with deck number four dude th this is ridiculous how good these decks are but no one uses them guys no one uses them so it's a lot of fun we destroy log bait there and that was a great great game thank you very much for playing dude let's get on to the final deck deck number five deck number five today guys the final deck of the day is once again another deck we've already showcased but this deck this rg mini pack of dark prince deck is ridiculous it, i have not faced one bad matchup with it yet if you think of a bad matchup comment it down below because i'm genuinely intrigued at why no one is running this variation this deck destroys the meta rg G decks right now literally destroys it the mini paka gives you the massive advantage and when going against log bait you have multiple answers when going against golem you have the mini paka you have literally so many answers here i'm honestly interested to see what you guys would think i'm thinking maybe three musketeers would be tough but when do you see three musketeers guys let me know i don't know when i've seen that well, let's just think about this for a second um we'll go ahead and mini packer right here we'll also go for a bit of a mega minion guys so these bats are going to be quite annoying but we can just fireball we can go ahead and also go for that electro spirit so the electro spirit's really early here that's going to be a misplay on our part guys the electro spirit's costing us a bit with this one let's go ahead and barbell sadly everything will get taken out luckily but not sadly we could have done it better though that's all i'm saying we could have done it a little bit cleaner those uh bats wouldn't have held our mega minion up if we saved our electro spirit for all of that so he's got golem pretty standard deck a lot of people struggle with and with a lot of decks you're running the risk of potentially getting countered to the point of where you have zero chance of winning now this is interesting some zappies in a golem deck when's the last time you've seen that i have not seen that in a forever guys so we're gonna actually go ahead and scar me this and then go for a, a bit of a mega minion let's go then the night witch comes down in the back mega minion will deal with the bats and we have a pretty significant push here with this dark prince charging up to that tower guys so it will go backwards sadly not going to be the best scenario here um and that night which will be quite annoying to deal with but 
nonetheless we'll be all right let's go ahead and get ready to go ahead and fireball that easy fireball here will knock it back that's gonna be pretty solid guys we won't be able to hit the bomber he's going with the golem right here really why Mini Pekka walks up. It's going to get destro uh, destroyed by the bats, but luckily, we do have our Electro Spirit here to save the Mini Pekka. Um, the Mini Pekka does go down, which is quite unfortunate, so we are going to go ahead and Dark Prince this. The reason why we're Dark Princing over the Mega Minion is here because the Dark Prince will be able to just absorb that explosion with his shield, not get damaged by it, and obviously take down these Golemites pretty efficiently here. So let's go ahead and get ready to go with a Fireball. We are all good with that. The Fireball's great. That's really... What the heck? The Zappies got, like, stuck in each other. Did not expect that at all, honestly. Let's go ahead and just Mega Minion this. Let's go ahead and uh, RG opposite lane. Nice. He goes for the Golem. He goes for the Golem. We'll go ahead and Barbell if he goes with a Bomber. The Bomber does come out. Beautiful Barbell here, guys. Will actually take down that uh, Bomber. That is going to be big. The RG's on the tower. He's going to go for some sort of bat somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and try and destroy them there. Let's go ahead and get a Mini Packet down to help with this. The bats are shredding us on the right side right now. We have not played this one very well, in my opinion. I'm really choking this, but that's okay. You can't win them all. Let's go ahead and... Um, Let's fireball. Mini pack is going to tank, but he probably has lightning in this one, guys. Not looking promising in my, uh, like, this is looking pretty bad. We honestly did not play that one well at all. When we started, we really didn't, honestly, it's not that we didn't have matchups. It's more so that we really did not play that right, and our starting hand was really rough. We did not get a single RG down until he had plenty of elixir to deal with it and even though we didn't go false on the day i mean hey this deck is still really solid you can obviously tell it normally does beat golem that was just a weird match he had a really solid cycle going and we just could not keep up with that one so very interesting match there but overall these five decks absolutely crush if you're going to use any of them like i said make sure to subscribe to show your support and hopefully we can hit 100,000 subscribers soon guys i love making this content for you guys so all the likes all the views all the support and love on all the recent videos i really appreciate it guys so thank you guys so much for watching today's video master diddy san out.